These two Malayan tiger cubs were born at the Virginia Zoo in early January. These are genetically really valuable animals that are tremendously endangered in the wild, so they're a very significant birth, maybe one of the most significant births we've ever had here at the zoo. These three pound fur balls are peaceful until they get hungry. Shortly after their birth, Dr. Amanda Guthrie and zoo staff noticed that mom was not taking care of the cubs, which sometimes happens in captivity. We consulted with some other experts about her behavior and what we were seeing and what they thought, and so we all came to the decision together that we needed to pull them in order to ensure their survival. With less than 300 of this critically endangered tiger species in existence, Guthrie and her staff decided to immediately take on caring for the two male cubs, including feeding them a high-fat, low-carb formula full of nutritional baby tiger gains. It's really, really important. That's what we're here for, is to help sort of conserve and save these animals. So we're, we'll put any and all resources into saving them that we can. So this is just a milk replacer. It's a combination of a kitten milk replacer and then a special uh, zoo formula, a recipe um, that's specific for felids. It's so right now they're eating 18% of their body weight daily in formula divided into six feedings. And it takes them a few times to sort of get the hang of suckling from a bottle, obviously. Um, but they pick up within two to three feedings. Although this is Guthrie's job, she can appreciate the chance she's been given. You know, it's not lost on me how special this is. This is, you know, really why we do this, is because we're passionate about these animals. I mean, I feel fortunate to get to come here every day and work with these incredible animals. It's a real honor. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. <laughs> Staff will feed the cubs strictly formula for about 50 days. Then they'll start mixing in chicken baby food and eventually transferring onto the meat diet that their parents get, which obviously won't entail getting this close anymore, because baby tigers grow up into really big, really strong adult tigers. They are wild animals. We're doing this only because that's what they need to survive, not because it's fun. They'll get transitioned into normal tiger lifestyle at the zoo when staff feel the cubs are ready. To stay up to date with the progress of the cubs, just go to virginiazoo.org.